and who hate the spirit-filled church. Interesting. We must do better than that. So it, it wouldn't matter what Julie reported, he wouldn't accept it because leftist journalists with low integrity, bad character. So he's just absolutely bashing Julie publicly, right to her credibility, her character. And she, he, the accusation of Sean is that she hates a spirit-filled church. That's pretty shocking. Well, it's all shocking. <laughs> When to start is, please support your local food bank, Drug and Alcohol Center. We're going to do an update on the IHOP KC. Now, these guys. All right. This is a man named Sean Foyt. He's doing what's called mental soaking. And if you just Google it, Sean Foyt, this is X. Father-son importation, Charles Finney, mantles. The reason I use that as my thumbnail is that I've actually been studying this. If you're a new Christian, if you don't... Oh, I just had a text. If you like my video, more people get to see my videos. Thank you. Grave sucking, grave soaking, and mental grabbing. And of course, Sean Foyt is an avid grave soaker, grave sucker. The This is... um, I've got these videos posted. So he gets... The idea, if you're a new Christian, is that there's a mystical power in the corpse of dead people. They go and they lay on the tombstones in order to sponge the anointing off the dead people. It's called necromancy. Any, when you're communicating with the dead to get special mystical powers, you know, Sean has the opportunity to fly around the world and get into these graveyards. And he believes that by laying on these tombstones, he gets special mental powers. And he's bringing his children in. Uh, you know, it's horrible. And he still has this posted, Sean Foyt, official. You know, I'm praying for his children. And... Um, of course, we as Christians understand the power of the Holy Spirit. We don't need to suck on corpses to get power from the dead. It's ludicrous. All right. Now, we're going to be looking at this guy right here. This is a guy named Eric. All right. Metakas. Now, this guy. I just, I, I was stunned when I saw this. Everything I have heard... Everything that I've read and heard over the over the weeks has me believe that the initial accusations against Mike Bickle are deeply vile lies. I hope IHOP leadership has the guts to fully exonerate Mike and to bring the false accu accusers to repentance. He's got everything backwards. Now, but not holding my breath. It's interesting. Some of the comments here. I follow Eric and Joel. Joel has been pretty vocal that he may know more than just hearsay. The most obvious issue to me right now is that Bickle has been silent, considering the pressure of his local church. Why would an innocent man be silent? This is a uh, shout out to Joshua. <laughs> He's a friend in the United States. Eric, I love... The content you put, I don't even, I've never listened to this guy. He, and uh, I was dedicated, in a, I'm a charismatic, I was dedicated and baptized in the Pentecostal church. I listen to Pastor David Wilkerson quite often. I'm a Teen Challenge graduate, but I don't listen to this guy. All right. All right. IHOP hasn't brought in a third party like Dr. Michael Brown recommended. Also, they haven't been in communicating with the complaint group who have all the evidence against Mike. It is not the church's job to investigate alleged crimes. Law enforcement needs to be involved so they can exonerate the innocent and prosecute the guilty. The church does not have the infrastructure, training, or legal authority to investigate or prosecute crimes. Great comment, Jennifer. We'll look at a few more. Oh, this is Blaze. Shout out to Blaze. He's done lots of videos. Hi, Eric. This this is unfortunate, not the case. Jane Doe is known by many and trusted by many. This is so sad and disturbing. And this is the article. Mike Bickle used prophecy to sexually abuse. So what these men are doing are re-victimizing the women. And I have been saying for quite some time, 
I've been following this. In fact, on my website, I have a whole tab dedicated to IHOP resignations. The IHOP ELT's actions are reprehensible, causing harm to victims, advocates, and the church. Essentially, these men are just, they, they've, they've got the whole entire way to Charisma magazine out to destroy the credibility of advocates, possibly donations. This is a man named Stephen. He's the full way to Charisma magazine. Disgruntled leaders wanting assets, donations, property. There's not a shred of evidence. And of course, he, he's been spinning this narrative uh, to destroy the credibility. And uh, re, this is re-victimizing the women involved with this. And uh, we'll look at a little bit of the grief sucking in a second. Now, where's Sean? Here's Sean. There are biblical ways to navigate church controversy and hidden sin discovered in the church those do not including so what he's doing is he's bashing um this lady julie royce the royce report to a leftist journalist with low integrity and bad character and hate and who hate the spirit-filled church interesting we must do better than that so it, it wouldn't matter what julie reported he wouldn't accept it because leftist journalists with low integrity, bad character. So he's just absolutely bashing Julie publicly, right to her credibility, her character. And she, he, the accusation of Sean is that she hates a spirit-filled church. That's pretty shocking. Well, it's all shocking. Yes, but the Bickle ELT rejected the others. Spot on. Okay, this guy agrees with them. All right. Here's Blaze again. Unfortunately, within many church structures and systems of protection set up powerful leaders often don't allow for disclosure that protect real victims to set up, that's right, proper safeguards and potential victims. If leaders don't listen, oh boy. If leaders don't listen to guidance and correction, their own flock who love them, then next they'll hear from their former members and might have it axe to grind if they don't listen to them then they will have to listen to the secular media next is unfortunately the law or not it just stays hidden till leader dies and then the bad news comes out making everyone disillusioned the lo i love your oh really so blaze loves sean foyt um, but i also really appreciate julie standing for victims that have been kicked to the curb by some of the best churches and spirit-filled ministries sorry she wrote the article on you <laughs> i didn't know that <laughs> i didn't know that julie wrote an article about so i'm just finding that out now so i guess i don't know what the article was but sean's not too happy with julie and that's why he, she's saying that she's got low integrity or bad character and hate-filled speech I think out of the whole entire mess, this has got to be the most shocking thing I have seen to date, is that Eric wants these poor victims to, to repent, and that he believes the initial accusations against Mike Bickle are deeply vile lies. It's like, and I, if you don't know who this guy is, Larry, right? He just came up with his article. I just did a video on that. And Larry, of course, is good friends with Eric. So... I've been saying for quite some time that these men are losing the social media ba battle. They're getting bashed on social media, their integrity, possibly donations. The whole weight of Charisma magazine is out to restore Mike Bickle into the position of power and leadership. And of course, Larry is good friends with Eric. So Larry's put out his article right here. And there isn't a thought or prayer for the victims. In fact, it's the opposite. They're still pushing the narrative that there's demands and threats of dictating IHOP funds. It was for victim therapy. And um, plan a restoration for this man of God who is a gift to the body of Christ worldwide. So there's not a thought or prayer for the victim. These re they're re-victimizing the women and destroying the advocates. And sadly, they're winning on social media because the biggest platforms like Charisma Magazine and, of course, Sean Foyt now has chimed in and Eric has chimed in. And um, But here's the great news. Here's the great news. 
All right. Put all your hope and confidence in the Lord. Even if they do get silence, they re-victimize the women. This all goes, we don't know. We should maybe do that right away. We don't know. IHOP's going to have to spin a narrative because that article just came out. So IHOP KC. And um, we don't know if they're... Okay, so three hours ago, this guy preached. One day ago. So... And then they've responded to the survivor testimony of um, this woman. I've been pr She's a hero. The advocates are heroes. They're standing up to the biggest and most powerful um, charismatic leaders in the cares. They all have platforms, humongous platforms, YouTube channels, TBN, Charisma Magazine. They're all out to destroy these men, the credibility. They're, and, and the great news is that I believe they have the truth on their side. And ultimately, this is a fulfillment of the Bible, that if you stand for righteousness and truth, you will be attacked. They'll say a whole bunch of horrible things about you. And um, that's what they're doing right now. Eric, Sean, this guy, Stephen Strange. And um, I just want to end this with a Bible verse. You know... If, and if you want to go look at Sean Foyt sucking the corpses or uh, grave soaking, um, you can come watch this. This is a guy named John Crowder. And I do have some grave soaking and, and um, videos on here. It all comes from a man named Bill Johnson. There are anointings, mantles, revelations, and mysteries that lay unclaimed literally where they were left because of generations. So they're going into the graveyards to hold and suck on the tombstones. Let's just end this with a Bible verse. Uh, let's do Ephesians. This is the guy here. He's very popular. I've never listened to him. I think he has a whole bunch of books as well. It's called the Eric Menendez. So we got the whole way to Charisma Magazine. This is a guy, Sean Foyt. Stephen Strang. All right. Five. Sorry, I have dyslexia. I read things backwards sometimes. I'm not a good speller guy. Ephesians. I dropped out in grade six, seven, eight, and nine. <laughs> they threw me in jail. I grew up on the streets. I'm educating myself. I'm not stupid. I speak Spanish. But I'm a dropout. But, um, you know, the Lord, some people have 10 talents, others five, and uh, I try to use the talents I have the best I can. Ephesians 5.11, take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. And that's what I do. Let's read this. But sexual morality and impurity or covetous not be maimed among you as a proper among the saints. Let there be no filth. Filthiness, nor foolish talk, nor crude joking, which is out of place, but instead let there be thanksgiving. Praise the Lord. For you can be sure of this, that everyone who is sexual, more, immoral, impure, who is covetous, who is an idolater, has no inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of these things the wrath of God comes on the sons of disobedience. Therefore, do not become partakers with them, for at one time you were in darkness, but now you are in the light of the Lord. Walk as children of the light. For the fruit of light is found in all that is good and right and true. And try to discern what is pleasing to the Lord. Take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. For it is, even, it is shameful even to speak of the things that are done in secret. Though everything is exposed to the light, it becomes visible. For everything that becomes visible is light. Therefore, wake up, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Praise the Lord. Look carefully, then, how you walk, not as unwise, but wise, making the best use of the time, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand that the will of the Lord is... And do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery, but be filled. Fill with the Holy Spirit and joy. Royal priesthood, a holy nation, a called out one with an eternal reward. Christian life is an abundant life full of joy. That's a sad thing is that when people are going into graveyards and sucking on the, the dead people to get mantle powers, there's no joy in that. It's an abomination to God. 
And that's why I expose them publicly. And, uh, therefore, do not be foolish, and but understand what the will of the Lord is, and do not get drunk with wine, but that is debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit. Praise the Lord. Addressing one another in psalms, and hymn, and spiritual songs, singing and making melody to the Lord with your heart. Give thanks always and for everything to God the Father, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. Thank you for watching. Leave me a comment, like the video. Have a great Sunday. So may the Lord bless you, keep you strong in the faith, and always remember, Father John loves you. Bye.